Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so let's address the problem. So a lot of people are saying, you know, w the currently WWE NXT sucks, or WWE NXT 2.0, that it sucks. But if anything, if you think about it, the reality is, and the only reason why people think that it sucks now is because, oh, that Vince McMahon, Bruce Pritchard, and basically people like who are, who are, who are involved with the main roster are now more involved with, the, with NXT now. The reality is, even if that's the case, we have to be, let's be honest with ourselves, WWE NXT always had sucked. Even with Triple H's NXT. And let me explain why. And I know a lot of Smarks will be angry because I'm saying this. So Smarks basically loved the old NXT. They loved when Triple H was more involved in NXT than how it was the black and gold brand and how, you know, it was basically the, oh, Everyone's talking about NXT, even though the reality is, if you really think about it, the Triple H's NXT was basically a glorified indie fed. And, let's be honest here, it wasn't good. Okay? If, let's say, back before AEW was a thing, apparently they had an agreement where they could have NXT on TV, and that's why it was not just about AEW, but apparently they wanted to, I don't know, regardless if they wanted to battle AEW, there's a reason why NXT basically struggled to to, to fucking in, in the ratings with AEW. Okay, so first of all, both shows, AEW and NXT, the Wednesday Night War crap sucked, okay? If you really think about it, who fucking cares like about both shows? Because for God's sakes, they're both indie feds. They both uh, uh, only... The people who watch those shows are literally just smarky wrestling fans. That's it, Okay. There's a reason why people didn't give a fuck about NXT uh, and also AEW, but like, main, but we're talking about NXT. We can talk about AEW all other time, but all you need to know is that AEW just caters to the fucking Sparky Wrestling fan base. But that's what a NXT did, does. They only cater to the Sparky Wrestling fan base. They never cater to to at least try to even cater to because they're all no one even fucking knew or cared about NXT besides Smarks. Okay, it was on the US, It was on fucking the WWE Network. It was put there to showcase. Okay, NXT is supposed to be was always supposed to be a developmental brand. It was supposed to be a brand like FCW, like OVW, to develop the wrestlers to help teach them to be ready for TV. But now since NXT's on TV, you kind of have to try to position them to try to be ready for TV, but be ready for the main roster, which is the problem. But but let's talk about even before Triple H's NXT. Triple H's NXT was just basically a show to cater to the Sparky fans. While it's supposed to be developmental, get these wrestlers ready for the main roster, for some reason, uh, from some reason, Triple H wanted to treat this show as the third brand, and also even fucking the main roster treat like a third brand, because they started freaking, like case in point, back in what? When they had NXT part Survivor Series, which, made, which was kind of dumb in all honesty. Because again, this is supposed to be a, a developmental brand. It's not supposed to be a third brand. It's just dumb, okay? NXT is supposed to be a brand to develop these people. But the reality is they weren't developing these people, okay? They weren't even, like, it wasn't developing these people. These people, it was just basically your, your glorified indie fed. But that Smarks loved it because it was your, it was these vanilla midgets. It was these wrestlers that they love in the indies. Just basically having good matches with, with no story, no characters. Just fucking wrestling, doing gay kicks and flips and typical technical wrestling bullshit. Doing gay shit. Doing wrestling that matches that no one gets a flying fuck about. And the Smarks will like to fight forever. This is awesome. Blah, blah, blah. And... They had no character, had no no legit storylines. It was just about wrestling matches, okay? And the women, and then you had the women main event, and then you had women's wrestling. Basically, you know, these disgusting dykey She-Hulks fucking wrestling, because Triple H is into She-Hulks, you know, case of boys, his first girlfriend was fucking China, for fuck's sake. Like, what the fuck? You know? And, like, men were not men, women were not, like, women. Like, they're, like, it was all reversed. And the fucking, it doesn't help with the men were gay and fucking finger all on ass. Like, case of point, Ricochet. All these fucking wrestlers, they're legit gay themselves. And they don't look like men, they don't look like wrestlers. That's a problem. Wrestling, 
you're supposed to have character, you're supposed to have a persona, you're supposed to look at act like wrestler, at least try to look like a wrestler and actually do wrestling moves. But yeah, the reality is they're not good wrestling, that fucking Sparks claimed that this was the best wrestling show on television, this is better than the main roster, yet, come on here, it's, it sucked. I don't know what you guys are talking about, because again, like the only people who liked, liked that show were Sparky Wrestling fans. And guess you you wonder why that show didn't draw ratings. You wonder why that show basically failed to beat NXT. Don't I mean, or AEW. The only reason why AEW like because at least like they did have stars. They had people who people knew that were former WWE guys like Jericho and shit like that. But also because they actually were presented better. But with NXT, it was presented like in a dark in darky dark darky you know arena. It was like you can't really see well and all that stuff. But I'm sorry, even before this whole NXT 2.0 shit that people are now saying that NXT sucks, if you really think about it, it's no different. It's just the same shit, except that one of it is black and gold, the other was fucking, you know, colorful. And at least, like you're not with NXT 2.0, at least they try to have give these wrestlers some characters. At least, you know, Braun Breaker, guys like Braun Breaker, Joe Gacy, Tony D'Angelo, you know, even Carmelo Hayes somewhat. Um... Some of these guys, some of these wrestlers, even the Creed brothers, or you know, some of these wrestlers were given some character. They actually had something to offer, you know. Mandy Rose became a legit good character. Toxic Traction, you know, playing off that they're hot chicks. Even though I don't really find Gore, I know a lot of people like Gore Jade, but I'm sorry, I don't mind to fucking chicks who suck their own tampons. And also fucking have a disgusting orange hair. I like the natural hair color. But at least, you know, two out of three get chicks that actually playing off that they're hot. And again, no one cares a shit about women's goddamn wrestling. Okay? No one cares about women's goddamn wrestling. I'm sorry. No one cares. No one wants to see women main eventing. Fucking, it's, it's like just turn off your television shit. Okay? I'm sorry. Women are still a bathroom break. At least if they're hot, at least that'll be something. That's something that the new NXT is doing that's good. It's at least they're playing off with the women being hot. At least the women, they're at least trying to be sexual. But they're still wrestling, you know, with attires. But people like <laughs> fucking Ember Moon complain to how the women, you know, how dare they try to be sexy. You want to make women's wrestling sexy or whatever. Even though that draws viewership. But you have to understand that reality is both NXT suck. At least like with the new NXT, they actually have some characters. But aside from that, it's not saving because at least... Because the reality is, even with, the, you know, now the wrestlers have more characters than the old NXT with, like... Because, again, what is really Adam Cole's character? Oh, I'm Adam Cole, baby! You're more like Adam Cole, gay, gay, motherfucker. Oh, the Undisputed Era, they're undisputed. The only thing undisputed about this is that they're undisputed gay fuckers. That's it, okay? What was fucking Finn Balor's character besides him being a demon? Okay? Stop with this shit. All these wrestlers... And yeah, like, it doesn't help when fucking, you know, you have these wrestlers that go on the main roster. That's the, it's the NXT problem. You had these wrestlers that were on NXT, you know, not developing, not being main roster, didn't develop a character they can use for the main roster. They just go on... It doesn't help with WWE, like, they fucking, like, you know, they call them up and say, Is this guy from NXT? And assume that they know that people watch NXT at the time. Like, no one fucking watched NXT because, again, like... It's not, you're not giving a reason. It's just like a developmental brand. And, and like, who fucking cares? Because they, they had no character all, at, at all. And they don't look and act like wrestlers. So who fucking cares that guys like... Because this is why wrestling sucks. Like, you're also bringing people who don't draw in ratings. Okay? you bring in people who don't draw in viewership. Guys like Finn Balor. Guys like fucking Sami Zayn. Guys like fucking... All these fucking, like, wrestlers who have no fucking character at all. Like, all these fucking wrestlers who are just gay uh, looking. Like, Ricochet and shit like that. No character at all. And you wonder why these guys fail in NXT. Because for God's sake, like, you could say it was a booking. But the reality is when they don't look like, act like wrestlers, can you really blame just the creative? It's really both. Okay, I'm sorry. I hate to say it. It's both. What helps me, like... This is why WWE needs to try to be like how they how they like how they brought wrestlers back in the day, you know, like with OVW, FCW, you know, and also vignettes. It would help if wrestlers if they do vignettes for at least they did that, you know, when they had the new NXT. That's a good thing when they bring in people like guys like Tony D'Angelo. That's how people got over. Same thing with Val Venus. You know, whatever happened to doing vignettes for wrestlers if they're going to debut on a show? That's why he worked for guys like Val Venus when he was like, he was already over in his first night when he debuted because they were doing vignettes. That's what you got to do. Same thing with Rusev, the last time that actually worked for an NXT guy. Sure, there were a few guys from NXT that worked, 
but unfortunately it didn't work out well. Guys like Rusev could have worked, and yet you could argue like, yeah, some of the WWE's fault in booking. I will say like guys like Rusev, even Kevin Owens, Cesaro, somewhat, uh, the Shield even. You know, aside from Roman Reigns, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, even a, the Wyatt family. Aside from Roman Reigns, yeah, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. They managed to not like fucking be like the best thing they could have been stars. You know, you could serve Seth Rollins is one of the top guys, but the reality is, let's be honest, his character sucks. Okay, I know Smart Side can be kind of like his character, but it doesn't work. But the main thing is. All I'm trying to say is that even with Triple H's NXT, NXT sucks. It's no different. It's just one of them is cold for the other one is like fit, and they only care about wrestling matches. No legit good storylines going on. No characters. Bes but uh, like it, besides, even though like, I, but it's like even with the new NXT NXT 2.0, it's just a little bit. It's like it's not even like everyone has a character. That's the problem. It still has the resemblance of the old NXT, which is bad, and they're not really doing much with the new NXT. Besides, oh, at least we have some people with characters this is still typical wrestling match this and that barely any storylines barely any build up any cool good matches and you know women doing hot shit you know it's just still basically saying it's the NXT so I don't know why the people are still complaining it's really no different it's still just as boring okay it just it's colorful oh but cause Triple H's not involved Triple H good Vince McMahon bad Listen, I love Triple H. Triple H is one of the best wrestlers, but I'm sorry, he's a garbage booker. If anything, he is just as bad or worse than Vince McMahon. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying Vince McMahon. I mean, when Vince McMahon, when younger Vince McMahon, he was good. But I mean, Vince McMahon is still a fucking alpha male. You know what I mean? But the reality, let's be honest here. Like, yes, he is out of touch in terms of booking. But come on here. Act like, acting like Triple H is better when he's cared to a smarky fans is not going to help anything. If Triple H was the legit run the entire company, you know, if Vince McMahon retires... I'm sorry, the ratings will go more down and won't do any different. Because if, if 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 how he's booking NXT, and I know Smart because they because it caters to them, that's why they like it. But if it was like if literally the main roster was like to be like NXT, I'm sorry, ratings would go way more down than it does, and it would not help. And that would be Triple H's fault. I'm just telling you, it is what it is. Overall, both NXT sucks. NXT. 1.0 or whatever, black and gold and NXT 2.0. Not much difference with a new one. At least that new one has a little bit of characters with people, but the reality is it's not doing much, okay? Overall, both NXT sucks. Stop with the bullshit. Stop complaining. No matter who, whatever runs it is, who fucking cares? Both NXT suck and doesn't draw anything. Till next time, peace, yeah, bye.